it was very apparent that Berkeley was left-leaning and biased. People who thought differently were outcasts and not welcome to share their opinions. My name is Olivia Jaber, and this is my story. So I grew up in Newport Beach, California. My dad grew up in the South. My mom grew up in Northern California. And jobs both took them to LA where they met. Then they had my brother and I shortly after. So my brother, he went to UC Berkeley and uh, graduated. And then when I was applying to colleges, I had no idea where I wanted to go. I decided to, you know, apply to the UCs. And when I got in, my brother told me, do not go to Cal. And so, of course, I went to Cal. And I quickly realized, you know, why he had given me that advice. Politics were heightened on that campus in a way that I had not expected. In my experience, it was very apparent that Berkeley was left-leaning and biased and that people who thought differently were outcasts and not welcome to share their opinions. When you walk onto Berkeley's campus, you are immediately made aware that they want you to see color and that they want you separated based on the color of your skin and your background. I had never grown up around people that had become so unable to continue on with their normal day because of something going on in politics. For instance, I remember when I was in my freshman year dorms and Trump got elected, I walked out of my dorm and people were crying. When that happened, and then I had emails from my professors telling me that I didn't have to come to class because they were so distraught by the election results and they understood that we needed time to cope as students. I didn't understand that. It was kind of that first like red flag to me of the kind of emotional strength that I'm seeing lack in our generation a lot. Um, especially on college campuses. On that same freshman year, there were a ton of speakers that were also coming to campus that my professors didn't like, that the administration didn't like, and that my peers especially didn't like. From Ben Shapiro to Ann Coulter, Milo Yiannopoulos, these names are polarizing and some of their ideas are more radical than others. Um, and at this point, I too saw them as radical because I had not really developed my beliefs yet. I remember the, the riot that broke out and our student union was literally set on fire and the glass was broken. Some of my peers, I saw people that were in my classes out, you know, causing a ruckus. Berkeley is the home of where the free speech movement was founded. And all of a sudden, students don't want free speech if it makes them uncomfortable. I thought education was about being uncomfortable. I thought it was about confronting the things that even scare you most because in the scheme of things, you know nothing as a student. You're trying to learn from your professors, but half of the ideas are blocked off out of that room before you even enter it. If you are a student on a college campus in today's age, you are not learning this unfiltered you know, idea of what capitalism is and um, what socialism is. You're learning it through a lens that is based in indoctrination. Anything from safe spaces to microaggressions to trigger words. And that's not the point of college. And that's creating this echo chamber, which, you know, you're not letting other ideas in the room. So throughout my four years at Cal, as I became increasingly aware more and more each year of what was happening, I wanted to gain a different perspective. I had a few internships with uh, conservatives, and I just thought it was really important to help me come to the conclusions of what I actually believed. I was learning about conservative policies, and I was learning about American history and tradition. And it was everything that Berkeley had told me conservatives weren't. The picture that was painted of conservatives on my college campus and what I was experiencing throughout this summer were so radically different um, that that's when I started to really lean into my conservative ideology and beliefs and my values. The most hate and mean comments that my friends and I that are conservative have gotten have been from women we went to college with that don't agree with our values and beliefs. And not only do they not agree with them, but don't believe that we should have a platform to speak about them. 
when I decided to, quote unquote, come out of the conservative closet, I had just graduated from Berkeley and I announced on social media that I had started a conservative publication. The Conservator is the online publication that my two friends and I founded together. And this is for the modern, fashion-forward conservative girl. She is the girl that is constantly overlooked by mainstream media, and she is the girl that does not relate to what's being written in today's magazines. We write on all things culture, faith, America, style. So I would say it is hard to be a conservative woman because there aren't a lot of role models that are highlighted in mainstream media for us. And so, you know, you kind of feel like there's no place for you in society. If I had to give advice to the modern conservative woman that's going through college right now, I would say stay true to your beliefs. You will get through college and seek out friends who are not going to judge you for your beliefs and are going to respect you regardless. I think it all comes down to community and who you surround yourself with at the end of the day because I still do have friends who are on the opposite side than I am and we don't have issues. Looking back on it, and I've thought about this a lot, I am where I am today because of the experiences that I had at Cal. The one regret I have is not being vocal about my beliefs sooner. And I say that very intentionally because the week that I announced that I was a conservative, I experienced death threats. I experienced sorority sisters telling me that they were upset that they were even connected to me in any way. Still, it is the proudest thing I've ever done. I have no regret because of all of the positive that has come from it. Being proud to be who you are and not having to hide in the corner is the best feeling in the world. It honestly gives me the chills. I am just so proud to be a conservative and I'm so proud to love this country. It's given me such a sense of purpose. Thank you for watching this video. To keep PragerU videos free, please consider making a tax-deductible donation today.